Hey, welcome to another episode of Corner Off Mainstream, where I review some non-mainstream movies. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, sorry. You know, summer started, things have been going. Um, I don't plan on another interruption, but, uh, but what I got for you is I got five good movies, non-mainstream movies. Uh, you might have heard of them, you might not have. And, um, and I think you're really going to enjoy these. Uh, the first one is a comedy. It's with Rodney Dangerfield. It was, it was back in 1997. And it's called Meet Wally Sparks. What it is, is he's like uh, a Jerry Springer type guy. He's got a really you know, lowbrow um, talk show uh, where he has, you know, he makes Jerry Springer look like Oprah. I mean, that's how bad it gets. And uh, gets to the point where he's kind of alienated just about, you know, even his fans, everyone. And. The, the ratings are starting to tank, and um, Burt Reynolds, who's the, the station manager, uh, says to him, listen, get those ratings up or you're gone. And Wally uh, decides he's going to kind of go the straight path, and he's trying to get the governor uh, on the show. So he goes to a party where things get a little mixed up, he gets involved in some crazy shit, and that's where the comedy really starts. And it's a really funny movie. Watch it, see it, buy it, rent it, you'll love it. Meet Wally Sparks. Uh, again, stars Rodney Dangerfield, 1997. You'll dig this one. The next one, it's a little upbeat. It's called Wild Grass. Uh, it's a list under drama romance. came out in 2009. Um, it's about a, a woman dentist who loses her wallet. And this nice guy, George, is married, he's got two kids, finds her, her wallet. Kind of goes through the wallet and, you know, gets to know who she is which ends up turning into him falling in love with her. And so he kind of sort of um, obsesses her, stalks her, but, uh, you know, like I said, it, it, it's a drama romance. Um, you know, even the, the, the woman, uh, I think uh, Marguerite, she uh, starts getting a little nervous about the guy. She gets security team to keep him away, but it comes along, and it's, uh, it's a pretty good, funny little movie. Um, like I said, Wild Grass, 2009 drama romance. Uh, you'll dig this movie, watch it, see it, buy it, rent it, you'll love it. Um, it's definitely a good movie for, you know, an afternoon where you ain't got shit to do. You're just sitting around, you got some time to waste, pop it in, and, you know, you got a little good movie, and uh, you really enjoy that one. Uh, the next one, we got Sunshine Cleaning. It's also a comedy drama. It came out in 2008. Uh, this one was about a, a woman, she's 30-something, you know, uh, you go back to high school, she was the head cheerleader, she was marrying, uh, she was dating the star quarterback and uh, you know the movie then jumps forward 10 years and here she is trying to you know she's a woman who's trying to work overtime so she can get her son into a better school and you know things aren't as glorious as the high school days and she comes across she decides uh, with her sister who's like still living at home um, she's gonna start a business and it's a business that cleans up after crime scenes whether it's murder suicide and the business takes off and starts doing very well. Uh, like I said, it's a comedy drama because, you know, you got all the funny comedy uh, with the, the cleaning and, and, the, and the crime scenes. But then the drama part is where uh, she starts getting a better closeness with her sister. So it's like uh, the, the relationship with her sister starts getting much better. But it's a really good movie. It's a fun movie. Uh, watch it, see it, rent it, buy it. You'll love it. Good movie. It's called Sunshine Cleaning. Came out in 2008. Again, comedy drama. You'll enjoy it. All right, let's go for those of you um, who are into the vi vampire movies. Um, this movie, it's called Daybreakers. It came out in 2009. Falls under the category of action adventure. Um, for, you know, people who love the vampire movies, uh, you know, uh, or say, like, even Breaking Dawn. Uh, which, yeah. Um, <laughs> you go ahead, watch this movie. You'll enjoy it if you're the vampire type. You know, because there's other good ones. You know, you got the Abe Lincoln, vampire, uh, Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Well, if you look, you'll find there's like a whole slew of those. It's not just, you know, Lincoln versus Vampire Hunter. But, you know, you got, you know, Abe Lincoln versus Zombies and things like that. This movie falls in that category. It's a pretty good movie. Uh, Ethan Hawke actually starred in this movie. Again, this one's Daybreakers. Um, it's about uh, the fact that the entire planet is pretty much almost all vampires. And they're trying to figure out uh, how to keep the small population of humans alive so they can harvest them while they're also looking for a blood substitute. And 
you come across a, a guy who figured out a cure for the vampire, and then you have another gentleman who's, you know, like today with business, is trying to figure out how he could get, you know, people back, you know, from vampire to human, and then, um, then harvest their blood to sell it. You know, he's got a whole business thing, but it's a pretty, uh, you know, at least an action adventure. It's a pretty good movie. Uh, watch it, see it, rent it, buy it. Good movie into the, the vampire genre. Check it out, you'll love it. All right, good movie. Next, uh, last movie, uh, Sword Lives. 2007 drama comedy. Uh, I would, what's weird is like the one of the reasons why I like this movie is because I went to school at the University of South Carolina. I spent some time down south. And you know, when you, and you know, I'm in Jersey. So when you spend that far away, the culture is different. And you know, and, you know, everything's country like down there. And this movie lies on that, that country um, uh, vibe. Uh, and, of course, you know, the movie is uh, about a family that has to plan a funeral. You know, and you have all the family members a little quirky. You got one son who uh, is a soap opera star and he's gay, but, like, the mother is in denial about it. You have another brother who's actually in a mental hospital who is convinced he is Tammy Wynette. Um, but it's one of those crazy, wacky movies. I don't want to say it's just like uh, Death at a Funeral, which I know that came out. Uh, it was actually a remake that came out a couple years ago. But you want to see the original one. That one did not get much play. And the original one is hilarious. Just like that, Sword Lives, 2007 drama comedy. Watch it, see it, rent it, buy it. You'll love it. It's a great movie. Uh, you got any questions or answers? You want to just shoot me an email? Tell me I'm a dick. Corner off mainstream at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Twitter, big the number one. Uh, so it's B number one G T H U N, big thun. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll be back next week. Hope you enjoyed it. Check those movies out. Like I said, rent it, buy it, see it, watch it. You'll love it. Check it out on Corner Off Mainstream. See you next week.